So if you want to run MySQL in a Docker environment as a Docker container using the official image and also create another container for PHP MyAdmin which will connect to that MySQL server all in Docker, you are in the right place, stick with me. What's up guys, medium guy here. In this video, we're going to see how to run MySQL in a Docker container using the official image. Also later, we'll see how to run another container for PHP MyAdmin to be able to actually connect to that MySQL, manage it, create tables, create databases, insert data, and every other things that is possible inside the MySQL. So we're going to do all that with a Docker Compose file, which will create a Docker network. And these two containers will be talking to each other through that network. And actually there won't be any port that will be exposed from the MySQL server itself. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So as we can see in the official Docker Hub page for MySQL, we have the every possible MySQL versions as tags over here. We can use any tag that we want. Like in this video, we're going to use the 5.7 version and below is the documentation to run it with the Docker CLI, which we're not going to use it, but a little bit down over here we can see the sample docker compose file with the necessary environment variables which will be able to actually pass the root password and the initial database to be created in mysql and also the php my admin slash php my admin which is the official image that we're going to actually use to be able to access the management ui through the web browser so again this has its own documentation on how to run it with the docker cli but again a little bit down over here we can see the sample for the docker compose file so we're going to actually use this and make some changes so if i switch to the terminal in here i'll hit ls I have the docker compose file ready so I'll nano it in here as we can see totally I've got two services one for database and one for PHP my admin the image for the database is mysql 5.7 the volumes is dot slash data mapped inside the var lib mysql which is the default directory that the mysql will store its data the restart policy is on always. The environment variables I've passed is the MySQL root password, MySQL database, and MySQL password itself. So be sure to change these values if you want to use this in production environments. And next, the PHP My Admin service, which depends on the database service up above and the image is php my admin with the tag of latest which i haven't passed so it'll be latest by default and the restart policy is also in the always ports that is mapped to this container is 8090 to the 80 inside the container so actually i'll be able to access the web ui through the localhost 8090 on my machine the environment variables that I've passed is the PMA host, which I've passed by the name of the first service and the MySQL root password. I've given exactly the same that I've passed to the database service. So I'm going to hit Control X to get out of the nano. And as we can see, I've got a Docker compose file and nothing else in this directory. So as you might know, all I need is say docker compose up dash d to run in daemon mode so as you can see in the output a network has been created and the two containers have been successfully started and if i say docker compose ps i'll be able to actually list the containers that have been created by this docker compose file that i'm in in the exact same directory so 
As I can see, the two containers have been created successfully. Their status is running and there is no port mapped to the MySQL database, but one is mapped to the AT port inside the container for the PHP MyAdmin. So if I also say docker compose logs, I'll pass dash F to follow the logs. I'll be able to actually access the logs that has been generated from the two containers. So as the result, I see no errors and my containers must be up and running by now. So if I go to the browser and put in the IP and port of that server and with the port 8090, I should be actually able to access the PHP My Admin UI. So if I pass the defined username and password, which is root and password for me, I'll hit login and I should be actually able to log in to the MySQL database. And in here, I see that my defined database has been successfully created. And if I hit the plus button over here, there is nothing inside it. I'm just going to create a test table. I'll hit create. I'll pass in some data and I'll make it a primary key with the auto increment turned on and another column which will be var char. And if I hit save button over here, I should be actually seeing the table has created successfully as I can see in this list over here. So if I hit browse, there is nothing inside this. I'll hit the insert tab over here to actually insert some data in it. And I'll say one. As you can see, I didn't pass any data for the ID column, but it got accepted because the auto increment is on. So I'll try to insert one more. And if I go to the browse tab in here, I'll be actually seeing the two rows that I just created. So if I go to the terminal, I'll hit control C, I'll hit LS. And I see that the DB data directory has been successfully created, which will hold the data for the MySQL server and my data will be persisted. And if my container ever gets destroyed by any reason, if I spin it up again, I'll be able to actually access the previous container's data. So that's all for this video. I'll put all the files to my Git repository. And of course, I'll put the Git repo down below so you'll be able to access them easily. Just don't forget to watch my other videos in my channel. I've got cool stuff about cool technologies and if you like the content just don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions any recommendations just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below and with that i hope to see you in the next videos